Hey everybody, welcome to my physical world and another ArcGIS Pro tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a horizontal legend. If, you, if this is the first time to this channel, welcome and I would encourage everybody to obviously uh, subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell for upcoming GIS related videos and if you feel inclined to support the stuff I do here you can buy me a coffee dot com slash my physical world hey let's get started we're gonna make us a horizontal legend in ArcGIS Pro so I have a map up here that I've been working on a wall map of Ohio and I'm going to play around with the 24 inch square version and I am going to put a legend on it so you can see how this works. So I'm in the layout by clicking on the layout and I'm on insert and I'm going to come over here to legend and I'm simply going to make a box on my screen on my canvas or whatever you want to call it. By default ArcGIS puts it in a locked vertical stack. Notice that we have one column and it's vertically stacked, right? If I move this over in the horizontal, it's still vertical. If I make it skinnier on the y-axis, ooh, looky there. Did that just go horizontal? Technically, it did not. It just space thing it just reoriented the vertical stack even though it appears to be horizontal it is technically vertically locked I still have a whole bunch of items here and a, and a, and here and here okay and I got one in the middle there all right it's trying to figure out the best way to do it all right now first of all now that I've added a legend to my map, on the left pane, notice we now have an item called legend. If I expand that, I see a bunch of items with check marks. These check marks means, is that good English? It's good enough for now. These check marks mean that the legend is reserving a spot for anything that has a check mark but not necessarily is this item showing in the legend all right here's here's proof positive if we if we look at ohio floodways it has a check mark but there is no ohio floodways in my legend because if we come down to the map frame floodways is turned off yet the legend is still reserving a spot for it so first of all the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to uncheck anything that we are not going to have in our legend so i'm going to turn off city points i am going to turn off places hydrology lines master federal aided highways uh floods hydrology polys uh, the second reservoir and the second lakes and ponds the hydrology polys and we're going to turn off the city limits and we're going to turn off hill shading all right now these are the only reserved spots in our legend now okay most of these layers they might now they may be turned on the opposite is true as well you may have features that are turned on but you're not going to reserve a spot in the legend for those items does that make sense all right now it is still the legend that is is still vertically locked in order to spread that out horizontally you treat each one of these items individually 
okay so if notice when I click an item in our legend the properties over here show up okay so if I click each one of these I get the properties here's the name of the one that I have clicked on right up here I can change any property of any one of these items in my legend even if they're not reserved okay but like if I come down to Ohio reservoirs I get Ohio reservoirs up here and the characteristics of that particular item okay now you're looking for a simple field or a simple tick box and it says new column ha huh. if you click this box that item you are on will get shifted over to the right there is one item in your legend here's the first item in the legend notice that it does not have a new column checkbox that makes sense it's the first one in the legend okay so it already is in its own column okay it's just that everything underneath of it is vertically locked to it so we need to unlock those simply what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the next item ohio capitals which is right here it's the second item and we're going to make this its new column now if you remember that rule anything below is vertically locked right okay so if i choose ohio capital and i choose new column it moves over to its new column but everything else is vertically locked to this one so we need to unlock those so i'm going to come down to ohio reservoirs and i'm going to hit new column and then i'm going to come down to lakes and ponds new column and digital surface model new column and ohio ba county boundaries new column okay so now everything is in its own column so we have the makings of our horizontal legend now let's make a few changes let's come over here and notice that digital surface model has value and then the elevations well that's cartographically horrible in my opinion so i'm going to come down to the map layers and i'm going to come down to the surface surface model layer and i'm going to slow click twice on value and give it something meaningful call it elevations okay now notice that it didn't update over here in my legend simply all you have to do is manipulate that little that rectangle a little bit and it will catch up okay now we want to get rid of digital surface model the tur the words all right so let's go back up to our legends click on digital surface model come over here to the properties and notice that it has layer name turn it off okay whoops turn it off there we go now i just have elevations okay and you can do the same thing with these words like ohio county seats all one word you can come down here and choose that layer click inside that box put a space there put a space there and it automatically updates your legend now this is this one right here is a little little different than just a simple name that's why it didn't catch up so some things may not catch up just refresh your your shape of your legend box and it will catch up but to make simple text changes like this and give it proper uh, proper function or whatever just simply type what you want in there and they show up okay so this this could actually be just uh, we can get rid of the Ohio underscore and just make that say reservoirs okay and it shows up same way with lakes and ponds all right but I won't do that 
other things that you can do now that we have our legend let's uh, make this a little skinnier notice it didn't smush it too much and the reason why it didn't smush is because we turned off in the legend all these reserve spots so now I can make my box closer to the size of my legend and notice it didn't shift anything okay if I move it way out it doesn't move now if I make it go inside it makes everything smaller and shifts it over okay but the reason that this is happening now correctly is because I turned off all these reserved spots in the legend okay so you do some cleanup and you'll be fine but we now have a vertical legend okay like I said I think I said at the beginning of the video I'm not going to do all the properties but you can choose the properties under the legend item in your layout and you can change any one of these uh, features or characteristics of that item in the legend independently okay fonts sizes word spacing uh, the patch symbol size all that kind of stuff all right S you work at this level when you're working on the legend items so i hope this helps i hope this helps you in your further cartography and i look forward to you guys coming back to the next video and i hope you have a great day we will see you guys on the next video see you later